some of these events I've seen and some of them look very interesting. Also, there was a today March 6th uh, anniversary of a very tragic Paxton. Paxton passing. I've I screwed up this intro. You know what I'm talking about. What's up going on guys? Boston Bay 6 here back to another video and yeah. What happened today in wrestling? Well, you know what, Sunny, I'm going to tell you what happened. Speaking of Sunny, she just got released from jail. I'm not even kidding. I looked that up. Um, yeah, I have seen some of these events, and I will be a little bit praiseworthy of them. But as I said, tried to say in the intro, today marks the sixth uh, year passing of a very, very, very respectable and honorable legend. And I'll be talking about it here near the end of the video. Quick thing. I got freaked out at work today. Um, I was working at um, I work at this town hall, um, and I work like down in the bar area, like cleaning all that stuff. I had to work by myself, and I didn't know how to turn on the lights. I felt like I was being watched, and I got I got a bit uneasy, and I got uncomfortable. I seriously thought that somebody was going to be out of the frickin' closet with a butcher knife coming to sodomize me. Don't ask why I know these things. Seriously, I, I legit got freaked out at work. Um, I thought I was hearing things. Like, I felt like I was hearing footsteps. And I had my earbuds in, but I felt I just had an uneasy presence. Like, I felt like something was there. So, yeah, I, I, I really got uncomfortable. And I don't really get uncomfortable. Sometimes I make people uncomfortable. That's the antithesis of my life. Anyways, enough about me crying like a little baby and get scared like a little girl. We're going to move on to 19, 1976, actually. Terry Funk versus uh, Jumbo Sur Suruda. Two out of three falls match for the uh, NWA World Title. Uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling Sumo Hall. Okay. It's actually quite, quite interesting to see Terry Funk in uh, New Japan, or in Japan. 1985, this is probably a match that I might have to see. Hulk Hogan versus uh, Tatsuyo Fujinami. This is for the WF title. This was, in, uh, this was a Tokyo show at New Japan. I want to see this match, because for those of you who don't know, Hulk Hogan actually wrestled in Japan. He legit threw drop kicks, and I just about, I just about shat my pants. You don't see Hogan doing that. If he would just done his New Japan stuff in America, people would go crazy for that because Hogan really didn't really do all that a lot of moves. He did the normal yo, and then the punch, punch, big boot, leg drop, one, two, three, get in and get out. In New Japan, he's throwing drop kicks. And he's actually doing moves and selling. A, a crazy. Crazy. Anyways, 1996. Black Tiger, who was Andy Guerrero at the time, versus a uh, wild Pegasus, who became who used to be Pegasus Kid, aka Chris Benoit. Uh just Thunder Liger versus El Samurai. And uh, Shinya Hashimoto. Versus uh, Kojima for the IWGP World Title. This was the Best of Super Juniors 3, Day 17. Film will qu feature quite a bit on this list, I have to be frank. <clears throat> and um, it's kind of haunting that Benoit's uh, 14th uh, anniversary of the Benoit murders is going to be coming up soon. So, yikes. Yikes. That's a, that's a, bit, that's a bit haunting. It's happening in 12 days. Yeah, well, I'm going to move on from this awkward combo. 1998, Booker T versus Chris Benoit. This is a thunder. I think this is their fourth or fifth match in their best of uh, seven series. To determine the normal contender for the TV title that I think Finley was holding. So, the, these two had great matches. Um, I've only seen, like, the be like in their best of series... I've only seen their WWE version, where they did a best of uh, five for the U.S. title, and they spewed some great matches there. They have always had some good chemistry, so interesting. 1999, No Fear versus the Holy Demon Army, and um, Mitsuhiro Masawa versus Kenta Kobashi for the Triple Crown title, uh, AJPW uh, Budokan Hall. 
Okay, interesting. 2000, Kevin Nash versus Jeff Jarrett. So you have Nash who will literally tear his quad every five minutes versus Mr. Slap Nuts. Mr. S slammed over 7,000 guitars and never drew a dime. Man, this is a great American bash, the WCW title. This is where WCW was at at this time. You're having Kevin Nash at this point who really did not care. And honestly, can you really blame him at this point? And you have Jeff Jarrett, who I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frank, guys, he was never a main eventer in my eyes. He it did work in TNA for a bit, but then it got really, really old really quick. So Okay, cool, I guess. WCW 2000 was literally a dumpster fire. Kind of saying a lot for WCW. We move over to a year. 2001. Kurt Angle was a Chris Benoit. This is a top 10 skill cage match. This is one of the best steel cage matches of all time. And no, top 10 steel cage, that doesn't mean that that's the match stipulation. Even though Benoit is in this match, this is a top 10 steel cage match of all time. My favorite may be, you know, Tolly Blanchard versus, you know, Magnum TA in their I Quit match of Circuit 85. This is probably maybe my second favorite. I can't really commit to that because there's a lot of great steel cage matches. I mean, just look at the one at uh, TNA Lockdown between um, uh, Jeff Hardy and uh, Kurt Angle in 2012. Um, look at the one um, uh, James Storm versus um, Robert Rude. I thought that was a fantastic match at the same year. There's a lot of great steel cage matches. This, I think, is my second favorite. I can't really commit to that, though, because I've watched a lot of Steel Cage matches. So, interesting. 2006, Rey Mysterio versus Sabu for the uh, World Heavyweight title. Edge Lita and Foley versus Dreamer, Beulah, and F uh, Terry Funk. And Rob Van Dam versus John Cena for the WWE title. This is that one night stand, 2006. This was not as good. This was not a stronger pay per view than its predecessor in 2005. However, the, the matches I mentioned were pretty good. Mysterio and Sabu had a good match, and then that ending just killed it. Or it was no contest, which is stupid because Sabu literally wrestled in barbed wire while he tore his pectoral muscle. Fight me. And then the six-man tag may be my favorite match. Just for how insane that match is. Like, like... There's barbed wire, flaming barbed wire. Like, holy Christ, somebody give me a Kit Kat bar, make it stop. And, oh, Edge basically did something to Beulah. He speared her and then acted like he was performing things on her. Wrestling! I, I get it, it was to draw heat, but come on, man. You're not Corey Graves and trying to steal, you're trying to bang another co-worker. Um, and then, Rob Van Dam versus Cena. It was a smart idea, like, they thought it was a smart idea to put the title on Van Dam because he was over at that time. And the outset, it wasn't really a good idea because he only, it only lasted about a month and then he got, he got, uh, busted for, uh, for pot with Sabu, so he had to drop the title on Raw. Anyways, this was a pretty good show, though. 2007, Chris Benoit versus Bobby Lashley on Raw. Okay, that, that's a pretty interesting match. Uh, 2013, I do remember this match, though. Um, Randy Orton, the Team Hell No, Kane and Daniel Bryan versus The Shield, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. This is The Shield's first ever loss. I remember watching this match. This was a damn good match. The Shield, with the right people and six-man tags, had some of the best. Uh, their their, debut, their uh, debut match against Team Hell No and Ryback at TLC... That's one of the best debut matches I've ever seen. Um, at least pay-per-view-wise. Um, <clears throat> their shtick with the Wyatts are some of the best six-man tag of all time. Hell, even the one that they did in 2013 with Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback, I thought that was a great match. I loved that match. Great, great, great stuff here, though. Uh, 2017. Prepare, folks. This is a mouthful. Rapongi Vice, who I think is is it it's either showing you or I it's Beretta and Rocky Romero. I can't remember. I think it's Romero and Beretta. Uh they took on the Young Bucks for their junior uh, tag titles. 
War Machine, aka the Viking Raiders, aka Eric and Ivar, or at this at this case it was um a Hanson and Raymond Rowe versus the Gorillas of Destiny, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. It was for the uh, IWGP Tag Titles. Kushida versus uh, Hiroshi, or not Hiroshi, uh, Hiromu Takahashi, not Hiroshi Takahashi. Hiromu Takahashi. This is the rematch, I think, from Sakura Genesis, where Hiromu just squashed, you know, Kushida because he was unpredictable. He was the ticking time bomb at the time. It took them, like, the match was literally like two minutes. And it's one of the best squash matches of all time. Now, this match was way more competitive. This is for Junior Heavyweight tag, uh, Junior Heavyweight title at this time. This was a great match, though. Great, great character development. Um, and then Night uh, see Naito versus uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi for the uh, Intercontinental title. So it's knees versus neck. Which one is more shot? Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> Like, how is Hiromu's, or not, how is Hiroshi's knees not just severed at this point? And how is Tanahashi not decapitated yet? How, how is his neck not twisted off yet? Seriously, the amount of times this man's landed on his neck, he's going to be looking like Taz at this point. Um, and then we get Okada versus Omega for the world title. This is where I think Omega won the, won, uh, won the title. I think. It, I could be wrong. I, I think. I can't remember. Um, this is Dominion uh, 6.11. Uh, 6 this was a fantastic show. Great, great, great stuff here. 2018, I do remember this match. Oh, boy. Um, Kevin Owens versus Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor versus Robert Roode. This was on Raw. This was a, the build-up. This was like a... Um, like a pre, like a preview match of uh, Money in the Bank that was gonna happen. Um, I very remember this match. Owen doing the fro Owen's doing the frog splash to the, off the ladder through the announce table. Um, Owen's getting power slammed on a ladder. Jesus, this was a fun match though. Uh, 2019, Chad Gable versus Jack Gallagher. That was a great match, too. This is, uh, Jack, uh, Jack versus uh, Chad. This was a great match. And Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak. This is 205 Live. Finishing up here with 2020, Kenny Omega and Adam Heyman Page versus The Natural Nightmares, Dustin Rhodes, um, and, uh, QT Marshall. And then the Young Bucks versus the Super Bad Squad. This was, uh, Kip Sabian and Jimmy Havoc. Remember where Jamie Havoc wasn't weird and wasn't, you know, really due to allegations? Pepper Farm remembers, folks. Wrestlers who were born today. Happy birthday to Hukaro Shida. You are a very lovely lady. Yes, a very lovely lady. You look nice, though. You always look nice. And you seem like a nice person. If she's even watching this. And if you're watching this, hi, I'm sorry. Uh, wrestlers who passed. Uh, Zeko. Have no idea who that is. Don't know when he when they were born. Uh, they passed in 2016. Uh, Toots Mond Monty Mondi. Um, it has a T at the end, so I don't know. I that name sounds familiar, but I have no. I don't know their work. Uh, 1894 through 1976. This one hurts, guys. It was. Today would have been the passing of uh, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, baby. Oh, man, we, we love you, Dusty. We, we, we miss you. We, we miss you, Dusty. Man, th th that kind of hurts me a little bit. As a wrestling fan, you know, great stuff with Ric Flair and the Road Warriors. And, uh, Dusty, just a great, great, great wrestler. This one really did. This one, when I was writing this down, this kind of hit me a little bit. I'm like, oh, damn it. Well, that's it, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to make this le like less awkward and less shy as possible. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell for more notifications. Join the herd. I'll talk to you guys next video. Rest in peace, Dusty. Talk to you guys next video. Peace out.